Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this particular video is going to be on installing WordPress. Um, we're going to install WordPress version 3.51. Um, we're going to install it on a XAMPP local server. Um, if you want to set up XAMPP on your computer, um, I believe you can get it at apachefriends.org. All right, so you can download for Windows or Mac or Linux. Um, just awesome software. It, it basically gives you the environment of of that that a hosting account would give you, but it's on your local machine as opposed to on a uh, third-party web server. Um, so I'm not going to go through installing this, installing XAMPP. I have a video for that if you want to check that out first. Um, but what we're going to do is install WordPress onto our XAMPP server. So I'm just going to click download, and this is this is WordPress.org. Um, download. Depending on when you're watching this video, the version might differ. You might have a later version, uh, but this one is 3.5.1. So I'm going to save that. It's a zip file, and I'm going to open that zip file, and you have one folder called WordPress. And these are all the files that are needed to have to install uh, a WordPress blog. Um, and what you would do if you're using, a, 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 say, a shared hosting account, you'd want to upload these files through FTP, maybe FileZilla or another FTP client. You'll have to get these files on your web server. Um, since I'm using XAMPP, which is a local server, I can use my file manager. So if you're using XAMPP, um, you want to go to your XAMPP installation, which is usually on your C drive unless you changed it when you installed it. Um, and in that folder, you have an htdocs folder. Now, me, I'm not going to use this because I actually, uh, I'm, I'm using a different folder for my htdocs. I'm using my Dropbox. Uh, just so I can access my XAMPP files on any computer with Dropbox, um, which is it's just the same thing. I named it htdocs. Um, it's no different. Just pretend that I'm using the the core htdocs folder, uh, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> so I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm just going to call it WordPress. And that's where I'm going to have my installation. So I'm going to take all these files here and drag them over. All right, so now we have all our files. And we can, you can access your XAMPP server from localhost. Uh, but if we just have localhost, it's going to take us to, I don't have, in my htdocs directory, I do not have an index.html or an index.php. So what it does is just list the, all, the, the entire folder structure. Now, if this was online, this would not be safe to do. But where it's local, uh, it sh it's fine. So we want to click on WordPress because that's the folder where we just put our files. Now, what it's doing, it's telling us that we, we don't have a wp-config.php file. And WordPress needs this to be able to install. Now, if you go to the WordPress folder, you'll see we have this folder, uh, wp-config-sample.php. So what we need to do is change that. We just want to get rid of the sample and the dash on the end. And then we want to open that file. And you can use Notepad or whatever you want. I'm using Sublime Text, but you can use just the regular Windows Notepad, uh, TextMate, or, or whatever you, you want to use. And from here, we need to add our database credentials. Uh, WordPress is a database driven system, so um, it's absolutely necessary to have a database. And the most popular database is MySQL. Uh, if you're using a hosting account, maybe GoDaddy or HostGator or something like that. Um, you can create your database from in their back end. 
from your hosting panel. For us, we're using XAMPP, so we, just, we can go right to phpMyAdmin, which is a, a program that allows us to manage our database tables and, and columns. So you can access that just going to localhost slash phpMyAdmin. And we want to type in our password. If you just installed XAMPP, I'd suggest that you add a password to your phpMyAdmin because by default there is no password. So here we're in PHP my admin and you can see on the side here these are all my the databases that I have. Uh, we want to create a new database for our WordPress installation. So if we go up here and click databases, uh, I'm just going to call it WordPress create. So now we have a database called WordPress which is totally empty. And the database will get filled up on installation. So if we go back to where we were, localhost slash WordPress, and reload, you'll see it says error establishing a database connection. That's because in the config file we just saw, we don't have the right credentials. Um, so we need to add that. So DB name will be what we just created in PHP my admin, which is just WordPress. So that's the name. So we want to put that here. The user, by default, your date. If you're using XAMPP, your default user is root. Password, we want to put. Um, like I said, if you don't have a password, I'd suggest putting one. I can't. I, I, I'm not sure if you can even use WordPress if you don't have a password for your database. Um, but I'm just going to put mine in. Very easy password to remember. Um, local host, you want to keep that unless your host doesn't use this. They might ha use some other kind of host name. Uh, I think GoDaddy does that, but you'll have to find that out from them. But most of the time, this will just be local host. And, every, and you don't have to worry about anything else here. Um, you just want to save that. And then if we go back and reload, now we get the welcome page. So here you just want to fill in some info, uh, the site title. Um, I'll just say um, WordPress dev site. I'll keep the username at admin. Create a password. And you want to put your email address. And most likely, you want this checked. You want search engines to index your site. So if we click Install WordPress, all right. So WordPress has been installed, and it shows us the username. So let's click Login. Now, when you have a WordPress site, if you want to access the admin area, you need to go to your site slash wp-login.php so let's log in here up oh, that's that's not right okay log in so now we have our back end of the WordPress site uh, if we want to view the front end we can go here to visit site and we have a default WordPress installation so we have a, a WordPress website now and from here you can go on to add content to um, get a theme installed and just uh, anything you want so um, that's that's it that's the the base installation um, I'm gonna make another tutorial probably right now um, on how to set it up and configure it and add a theme and all that good stuff so if you could please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next tutorial.